up tech nerds Lottie here again uh, today we're gonna run through what we've been doing on the engine we've moved stuff around I'm also going to be looking inside the Centurion someone asked yesterday how it's deactivated and why so we will get to that at the end of the video I will show you that uh, but first let's just do a quick little run through of what we've been up to uh, we busted out the El Cheapo um, spark plug cleaner, and it has done a surprisingly good job, Liz. So this is what they were looking like, pretty manky. Uh, and this is how they are coming out when it focuses. Not bad. So we've got more than enough spark plugs. <laughs> To, uh, to work with, so that's really good. Uh, we've begun pulling stuff out of storage. So we're just going through which heads are the best, which valve trains are the best, uh, all that sort of stuff. We still need another float for this carby, so we're gonna be looking at that. We also pulled out the IR lamp which was in this box here. It's a really cool box, I quite like it. This is the IR lamp here, brand new basically. You can see inside, big lenses. Normally they have uh, an IR uh, filter over the top. It's like a big piece of glass um, with this sort of like reddish purplish color to it. Uh, I will show you that when we get it back. Uh, but we sent it off to get it cut in clear glass, the exact same size. So we can use this as a traditional lamp, as we may as well. We won't always have the equipment to look at stuff in uh, IR. Uh, and that way we can just swap out the, um, the lenses so we can go from IR to clear. So that'll be really good. Um, we've got spare globes too, which is really cool. I've got a ton of them, so we're in no fear of uh, blowing out the, <laughs> the IR lamps. That's really good. Uh, outside, we have begun pressure washing some other stuff. Rails, sleeves, valve trains. Pistons, our pistons are inside somewhere. Um, yeah, so far so good. We haven't detected any horrific damage or rust or anything at the moment. So quite happy about that. Full steam ahead. We have also moved stuff around so this is the engine that we will be working on so we've moved it over here into our working space and we put the other one over here yesterday afternoon i started on these cleaning them up just wire wheeling them we will hone them out but we've decided we're going to do all the honing out when they're back in the uh, in the heads, it'll just be a lot easier doing it that way. So yeah, that's um, already one day of work down, and we are leagues ahead. Quite happy. Now, to someone's question yesterday, they were asking, um, "Is it deactivated?" And are most museum tanks deactivated? And the answer is yes and yes. So you can't quite see. I'll try and get the camera around. You can see there that it is plugged up and that's fairly par for the course on a lot of tanks. In Australia, typically, uh, all guns uh, in, well, over a certain caliber have to be permanently deactivated. It does depend on which state you are in. Uh, if they are in Victoria, I do believe uh, there are some ways to keep your tank with his operational uh, firearm. This one's been cut. So you can see the uh, 
Well, they've got it. We actually do have the plug and we turned it into a little uh, paperweight for the owner. So he's quite happy with that. Uh, let me see if I can turn that one on. So there's basically no way that you can safely operate this gun ever again. Uh, with the mantlet cover on, you're never going to see that, which is why it's not even painted up to a certain point. So we're not really too concerned about that. But traditionally, in most museums, they will have a um, either a hole or a cut somewhere along the barrel to deactivate them, or they are plugged. I do know in some uh, exhibits, they cut the fume extractor, which is just down there, or what they do is they put a blank in, uh, sorry, they weld up the front, and then they put a blank cartridge in the, uh, in the tube itself and detonate it. And that causes uh, a bulge to appear somewhere along the, the barrel. It's normally done on smaller caliber uh, guns, not quite so big, but that is another way that they deactivate them. Inside, this is like a big jungle gym. <laughs> you have to bear with me. Okay, there we go. Um, what they also like to do is weld up the breech, which is what all this stuff is here. The firing pins are also normally taken out, uh, but this ensures that you can't put anything in the gun regardless. In some extreme cases, what they will do is actually destroy the recoil dampeners which these big things in the back here sometimes they'll drill them puncture them drain them full of all the oil uh whatever have you so they'll, they'll try and limit uh, virtually everything on the tank this one um we haven't looked at the recoil dampeners because again we're never going to be shooting this one it's not worth our time to do such nonsense. But if this gun was to ever fire again, uh, all of this would have to be cleared up and that's not a job um, that you can just do. And the barrel's cactus, it's, yeah, shooting this would never be feasible for any reasonable amount of money. Uh, but it is a pretty solid example of what most museum pieces would look like uh, within Australia and globally to an extent. I know in places like uh, Israel they have far looser rules regarding the condition of the firing mechanisms but that's always a, uh, a risk onto the operator themselves. These guns don't just work. They do need a lot of maintenance uh, if those recoil dampeners are screwed up or you've got a leak somewhere or any number of things and this basically turns into a bomb in here so we don't like that so yeah we will not be getting this one firing uh i do believe we're going to be putting some blanks in at the end of the barrel at some point but yeah quick little look around while we're in here Cool. So there you have it. Um, quick little run around what we've been doing and answering that question from yesterday. Hope that answers it. If you have any other questions, ask away. I'm more than happy to. And again, I like doing these daily videos. So ask away. Leave a nice little comment down below and hit the like and subscribe. Bye.